Hello, my soul fam. Welcome to this backbending, heart opening tutorial that is going to offer you tips on how to improve your backbends and heart openers within seconds. I wish I knew this knowledge when I first started practicing yoga. I learned about this when I was studying functional neurology with Z Health. So, Follow along. Tip number one, begin your practice with a visual reset. So you'll find a comfortable seated position, then you're gonna take your hands, close your eyes, and then cup your eyes so that no light can go through. You wanna hold this for about a minute. Now our eyes tend to get really strained from our computers, and this allows our eyes to get that reset. This signals an area in the brain that is going to allow for a deeper range of motion in your spine and in your hips. You want to ensure that no light enters, that your eyes are in complete darkness. And then go ahead and release that whenever you're ready. Let your eyes adjust for about a second. Then I want you to try any back bend or heart opener of your choice. That could be camel pose, that could be wheel. And notice the feeling of the heart opener when you come into it. The visual reset is an amazing drill to incorporate at the very beginning of your yoga practice because that is going to help facilitate extension in the shoulders, the hips, and in the spine to allow all your heart openers and back bends to not only be at a range that supports you, but they'll also feel good while you're at it. Tip number two. Where you look matters. A lot of times when we practice, our gaze is fixated on single points. But what the ancient yogis were onto was that the drishti is actually connected to areas in our brain that activate our range of motion. So whenever you come into a heart opener or a back bend, let your eyes Look up. Look up to the space of your eyelids. And what you'll notice in poses like pigeon pose, when your eyes are looking forward versus looking up, the range of motion in your spine greatly improves because this activates an area in our brain that is going to facilitate that spinal extension, and that hip extension as well. So this is really going to help you in poses like bow pose, in camel, and in other areas in your practice where you enter heart openers or back bends. Tip number three. Allow your eyes to look at panoramic vision. And what I mean by that is we're inside, indoors, staring at a screen for the majority parts of our day in this modern life. What happens is that the field of vision of our eyes tend to get narrow, and that often develops into things like myopia or nearsightedness. When we expose our eyes, to different vistas, whether we are walking on the street, whether we are looking at the view from the top of a hill or the top of the mountain, this is really great for our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest system in our nervous system. And what that does 
is that it makes our nervous system feel safe because it allows our eyes to go into divergence when the eyes are moving at opposite directions. So before you start your yoga practice or your backbending heart opening practice, a simple way to allow your eyes to gain that perspective is to look outside of a window. Or if you go outside and let your eyes scan the horizon, that is going to give you deeper access into these heart opening and back bending asanas. And I'm telling you, this is a very simple technique and it works wondrous. So there you go. These are my three top tips to improve your heart openers and back bends. And as you can notice, it all has to do with the eyes. Because in functional neurology, visual sensory over motor is at the very top of the neurological hierarchy. Mobility doesn't just apply to the joints of our bodies, but it also applies to our eyes. Where you look is going to help facilitate different intentions that you set for your practice. So eyes look up for any heart openers, any position that requires any kind of extension. Try it out. Let me know how it goes in the comment box below. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button to support this channel. I'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment in the box below. Sending you love, sending you peace, and sending you bliss for your heart-centered practice.